We begin with breaking news on the now. After nine years behind bars, Defonte Sanford just walked out of the Ionia Maximum Security Correctional Facility a free man. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Now Detroit. Devante was just 14 years old when he pleaded guilty to killing four people. He's been trying to ever since then to clear his name. Now, nine years later, that day has come. The Now Detroit's Anu Prakash joins us from Ionia, where Sanford was just released. Anu. Well, Joanne and Stephen, what an absolutely incredible moment for this now 23 year old young man. Take a look. This is Devante Sanford's walk of freedom after spending almost nine years behind bars for crimes he didn't commit. Around three this afternoon, Devante walked out of the Bellamy Creek Correctional Facility here in Ionia with a big smile on his face with his attorneys and his brother by his side. Devante left prison to start his life again. He was just 14 when he confessed to the murders of four people at a Detroit drug house on Runyon Street. Devante, who was developmentally impaired, then pled guilty to the murders back in 2008. Just two weeks and two days after his conviction, Vincent Smothers, a professional hitman, said he was the one responsible for those murders on Runyon Street, and yet Smothers was never charged. Devante was cleared of the murders following an independent investigation by Michigan State Police. Thanks to Devante's family and pro bono attorneys who have believed in him, he now gets his life back. Attorney Valerie Newman told us in advance that Devante they did not want to speak today, but she made this comment as they walked to the car. Sunny day today, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's a beautiful day. It could be pouring rain and it would be a beautiful day. Okay? Almost nine years behind bars, and all of his belongings are in that bag that was carried out by his brother. Once Devante got into that car, we could see him on the phone. I just checked in with his attorney, Valerie, and asked him who he called. You would guess he called his mom, and that's exactly who he spoke to on the phone. We were told again in advance that Devante did not want to say anything today. Tomorrow, though, tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, we're told Devante will be having a press conference with his family members. We should expect to hear from him then. Before before that, though, tomorrow morning, we also expect to hear from Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy. But all in all, an incredible day for this young man who was robbed of almost nine years of his life. Live in Ionia, New Prakash for the Now Detroit. All right.